Okay, I think we are live. What? Hello. <laughs> okay, I you... think so. Let me share it to my page. Yep, we're live. We're I live. Look... Do we look we're good? Back in my lip gloss. <laughs> Uh, this is so fun. I love doing interviews. Um, so making sure. Yep. We are live. Okay, cool. Oh God. We are paused. <laughs> We're paused on our end. Um, that's the only thing I can. Okay. Cool. okay. Let me turn down. The... Okay. Hi everybody. How's it going? <laughs> you're looking at, you're watching Elson Schlick. Do I say that right? Schlick. 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 Like, Schlick. It's, it's a mouthful. Can you imagine my boys trying to learn how to say their own last name? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that funny? Because I, I, my name used to be Valenza. And I told Tim, like, your Burke is so boring. I'm not taking your name. He's like, I'm not marrying you. I'm like, but it's so boring. <laughs> what was your name? What was your name before Schlick? Real quick. Schultz. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. <laughs> swapped out a couple letters yeah so you stay with the shish department okay all right guys hello obviously Allison and I are already having a really good time at <laughs> this afternoon um but welcome welcome to um this awesome interview with a very very dear friend of mine so thank you Allison for being here she is a fellow mompreneur I'm um, seeing all these comments coming in cool so if you see me looking over here I'm just looking to hey what's up dale yeah so you guys as you're tuning in um because i'm on my computer screen and all i can see is elson's beautiful face and then i have my phone here and i know elson has her phone i do so we're like we're multitasking mamas without a doubt <laughs> and so please as you're tuning in say hello show elson some love i'm very excited to have you in our community you guys i don't just invite anybody into our community so I am super excited to have her here though, because she's just, uh, she's just amazing. Like, I just think she's a creative, she's a mom, she's, um, she's driven, she's successful with her network marketing business, she's successful with her brand, she's successful with her online business. So I invited her to help give mamas some tips, right? So um, I just, again, so thank you for being here. I'm going to dive in because uh, we're probably going to be here just so you guys know for about 30 minutes. Hey, what's up, Sammy? Hey, Lisa, how are you? Hi, Amanda. Yeah, let's say, let's get some shout outs. Let us know where you guys are tuning in from. What's up, Becky? Hi, Nikki. Hey. Awesome. Okay. So let's just kind of dive right in. I want them to know who, who is Allison, right? Isn't that a mouthful? Like, who are you? <laughs> okay. um, and we need to have like, our next interview, guys, we're going to all have a glass of wine. Yes. Like, how about that? I know. I mean, if my house wasn't covered in tarp from painters, you guys are having our whole house painted, I would go and run and get uh, some champagne and like we do some <laughs> virtual toasting. Okay. So let our audience know who, who Allison is. Let's just share some of your background for them. Okay, so hi everyone. My name is Allison Schlicht. I am, like Julie said, a mom of three boys. I have five and a half year old twin boys who are in kindergarten and a 13 month old baby boy. So obviously, any of you guys that have multiple kiddos or even one, you know how busy that can be. So I actually got started in the, well, before I got started in the space of network marketing, I was a Pilates instructor. So I, awesome. I fell in love with it. I was passionate about it. I never wanted to do, I think Julie can relate to this and a lot of people watching, like I never wanted to do like the corporate America. I know Julie, you've been there nine yep. to five, wasn't going to work for me. So Pilates was good because I was able to uh, make my own hours, uh, work with the clients I wanted to work with. And that was great, but I was still always limited by the number of hours in a day and the number of clients I could see. So when I was young and single and all that, it was great. I worked a ton. Um, it was pretty good income, but then once I got married and settled down, um, and particularly when we found out we were pregnant with twin boys, we were oh, like, God. Initially, it was like, Oh my gosh, how is this going to work? Cause if I don't work, I don't get paid. There's no salary. I didn't have health insurance. It was just like, right. I was trading time for, for dollars. And so, um, you know, I was 
open to some other things. I was thinking, should I go back to school? Like, what can I do to provide more for my family? And a friend had introduced me to network marketing. It was a friend I went to high school with. I actually at first said, no, I'm not interested, but I was interested in trying out some of these products. And so obviously I'd be lying if I didn't say there was part of me that wasn't open because I had been, you know, thinking like, what can I do? And so I started watching other people in that company, other moms. And I said, Oh my gosh, if they can do this, I can do this. Like I mm -hmm. can totally do this. And so I got to work, I worked really hard to match my income in Pilates. And then after about six months, I was able to leave. I was able to leave my job and be home with my, my baby. So awesome. I mean, for me, it was huge to not like most of my income was going toward paying a nanny to be at home with my boys. And it was always like, what this doesn't, there has to be another way. And so network marketing for me was that other way. And, um, you know, I had a certain level of success, but I had some challenges in the fact that I wasn't able to, um, duplicate that success, right? Like there was no mm -hmm. system. There was nothing for me to be able to show other moms, like there, here it is. This is how you do it. Like I just did it and I didn't know how I did it. And when you come into, um, owning a business and network marketing, anything, any type of business, you're going to come into it with a certain set of skills based on what you did before. Right. So right. if you have prior business experience, that's going to serve you. If you were a teacher, that's going to serve you. There's going to be different things that maybe you did before that are going to help you in this industry and other skills that you have to learn. And mm -hmm. so, um, the, I was able to create some of that success because of the skills that I had coming in. But again, like I said, there was no system. So I didn't know how to duplicate and right. I found myself very frustrated and really working hard to find a different way, right? Like I'm an introvert by nature. Do we have any other introverts uh, in the house? Like I know there's a lot of them out there. And for me doing home parties, um, going out and like prospecting my waitress or whatever, or talking to other moms at the playground and trying to figure out like, how can I talk about my business? It just always felt very inauthentic. And it was the worst. Awful. It was the worst. <laughs> It's like three way phone calls. Yeah. It's like, Hey, I know you don't know me. Um, so do you want to get on the phone with me and another stranger that you don't know? And <laughs> like, it's just awkward. Right. So I yeah. started looking for a different way to build. And I started following you. I started following Julie. We were, um, for those of you guys that don't know, we were in the same company, but we were not, you know, we didn't know each other. We were mm -hmm. financially, I saw she was going live all the time. And I'm like, Ooh, this is interesting. And she was talking about different things that I hadn't heard before. And, and so I became very uh, intrigued and open to what she was talking about, talking about building a hundred percent online and using attraction marketing. And, um, and so I reached out to her. So this is how far, I mean, this is a crazy story. So I had reached out to her, like wanting to know more, like, I want to know more about what you're doing. And she, you guys, she totally just helped me. Like she just helped me out, even though we, it wasn't benefiting her in any other way, other than she was you know, every day showing up on Facebook, providing free training, providing free value, drop a, a one in the comments. If you've ever learned anything <laughs> impactful from Julie, right? she shows up all the time uh -oh. Uh -oh. wanting to provide value and to elevate this profession. And I love that. And so it's, you know, and I didn't pay her to say this guys. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, it's I feel like that conversation happened yesterday, actually, but I, I mean, it's been like what else and like, over just over a year it was, like, it was like October of 2016 I think crazy crazy I know because I was pregnant and I started you know yeah I, and that was the other thing too I was pregnant and I'm like oh my gosh I'm gonna have a third child like I don't want to be doing those old school things anymore I don't want to hire a babysitter so I can go do an, uh, an in-home party for my team or whatever I want to be at home like gross and sweaty like I usually am from working out and just build <laughs> online right like yeah. I did I did shower for you today but yeah you look great you look good you got makeup on yeah. I have a little bit of makeup on too <laughs> a little <laughs> so yeah I mean and so it's funny because by Julie putting herself out there right and this is a big key I think for a lot of people to realize it's like a lot of people are scared to put themselves out there right but you never know yeah. A, who you're going to impact and how you're going to change their lives. And mm -hmm. B, how it, when you put good out and you're putting value out, it's always going to come back to you, right? So now here we are, you know, a year and a half, whatever, later, and we work together. 
there, you know, yeah. and we didn't, I didn't know that. I mean, she didn't know that was going to happen. I didn't know it was going to happen, but it just goes to show like how powerful it can be to put yourself out there and to brand yourself. Like, Julia. yeah. And it didn't happen immediately. It happened like six, seven months later or something like that. It wasn't, it, it's just, that's what building you guys right here. This is the prime example of building a relationship and not having any emotional attachment to the outcome. When Allison was asking me questions, it was, it was, it was early on in the game when, you know, I was building up the fan page community and offering a lot of value and tips. And, you know, it was still, it was kind of crickets, but it was, it was starting to turn. I started seeing that following and she came to me. She's like, I want to build a brand. I want to build up my fan page. And like, genuinely, I was like, just show me your page. And then I made some tips and suggestions, but here's the cool thing about Allison, you guys, it's like, she's so coachable. Like she just, she does it even though she felt awkward or maybe there was some fear, but that's part of the growth of being an entrepreneur and having the strength of another entrepreneur that's maybe taking those steps to lead you in that way. I mean, would you agree? I hundred percent. Awesome. So that was all amazing. Well, so here there's two questions I want to ask you. And I think I'm going to stick with a little bit of the personal development route. And then we'll go to the other question about what I have for you, but you've done like, how important do you think personal development is? And I'm getting more into this. And, and the reason why I'm talking more about mindset on my lives lately is because we all have this inner critic and I, I listen, I listen to people that reach out. I'm reading the messages and I feel that so many people are in so many different places lately. And they're like, I need to be over here. No, I need to be doing this. And it, you guys, to build a successful business, there's a million ways to do it, right? There's a million ways to make a million dollars if that's your goal. And so it all comes back to what I think what's important to you. But what I want to talk touch on is personal development and how important I think it is. And Allison, I know you've done a lot of work around this. So how do you, do you feel like it's helped you? What have you done? Like, how do you feed your mind? Um, because we're not always at the hundred percent that we, sh we could probably be performing at. Right? No, I mean, and, and listen, it doesn't so do you have matter. tips? Yeah, yeah, give them some tips. <laughs> First of all, it doesn't matter like how much you're working on yourself, you're still gonna hit, <clears throat> hit these, these roadblocks, these challenges, the challenges or obstacles that you've got to overcome. I went through one last week and it, 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 it they last shorter, right? Like I don't let it take me out of the game like it right. was like three years ago, but you still have those moments where you gotta like, give yourself like a little kick in the, the rear and just an, an action, taking action will trump everything. Taking action on your business will trump any of the negative talk that you have going on in your head. So how important is mindset? It's everything, right? right. So when I got started in this industry, that was like the very first thing I, I was told, like you have to do personal development. And I, um, let's see, I had started in my last company in March of 2015 and by July I hired a coach. And so I made a decision to work with a coach on who specializes in mindset. And I worked with him. I still, I coached with him last week. I worked with him for a long time. So that's one thing that I made a decision to invest in me because listen, uh, a lot of you guys have call. I didn't finish college. A lot of you guys have college degrees. Um, you invested maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars potentially into your education. And then we come into this industry and then we just want things to magically happen without making that investment into yourself. And so I think that, you know, yes, can it be expensive at times, but it's, it's more about the value that it can provide for you and the long-term investment into yourself. So um, that's one thing that I did as I started working with a coach. Um, I listened to, I turned my car into like personal development university, like mm -hmm. my boys would start quoting Tony Robbins. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have awakened the giant in my car right now. And they're like, mommy, this guy sounds scary. Who is he? Cause you know, Tony has like a deep voice. And I'm like, just listen to his words. I'm like, you're going to need this one day. <laughs> I 
know. Well, here's the part. So the boys like dug it, right? Like they were yeah. here. The baby hates it. Like I like, <laughs> like Brendan Burchard or like it, Mel Robbins. Anything I have, I put it on when we get in the car, and he starts screaming. And then I put on like Justin Bieber, and he's fine. I'm like, okay, well. <laughs> oh my god. Well, you you see his future already. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I mean. I, I always am listening to books and listen, just because here's another tip too. Like if you, I listen to books because if I start to read, I will fall asleep. I just felt so mm -hmm. I have to listen to stuff because I that's, and I have to multitask, right? Like I was listening to the five second rule while I was putting on makeup for this, right? Yeah. So just fitting it into, um, you know, your time throughout the day. But don't feel like you, if you get a book or whatever, like you have to read, like listen or read it from start to finish. You know what I mean? Like I am usually listening to several different things at one time and I take bits and pieces of what I need and just implement it and just, you know, move forward with it. Not feeling like, oh, if I don't finish this whole book, then, you know, it's a waste. I, and there, there are some that I do, but I just take bits and pieces for whatever I feel like my mind needs that day or at that time. So so yeah, I mean, personal development is, is huge because if you don't have a healthy mindset, you're going to get taken out of the game because you're going to get rejected. You're going to yeah. get people telling you you're crazy. You're going to be, have people make fun of you. Like it's going to happen. And guess what? I'm Julie. I'm sure Julie can attest to this. The more successful you become, the more people you have wanting to tear you down. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's so true. <laughs> Um, or that they'll just like attack your character or integrity. And it's, you know, here's the thing. I, I just, I become almost bulletproof to it and just say the person that needs my message is the person that will be with me. And that's it. But what you said was really profound because I do the same thing. I used to feel like a failure if I didn't finish a book, like why can I ever finish anything? But then I learned actually you should be into multiple different books at a time uh, learning and like coming at it from not a, a standpoint of reading a book, but studying it, like studying the book, studying the lesson. And so I love the five second rule. I love Mel Robbins, that, that audio book. I'll tell you, I was on a flight, a flight recently. And if you know me, you know, I do not like to fly. <laughs> And so I put my earbuds in, I put that book on um, audio and I just like, it feeds your mind. So it's amazing how you can change the state of your being, like just so, just like that, when you start to feed it, right? Exactly. And so I love that. Yeah. And I think one of the things that's like, one of the lessons from that book <clears throat> and in general is that you have to realize your brain is hardwired to keep you safe, right? Sure. To keep you in your comfort zone. And so anything that you do that could potentially feel uh, like, like out of your comfort zone, like doing a Facebook live, your brain is in, within five seconds, right? Going to start coming up with a million reasons of why you shouldn't do it. But just, I think if you can separate yourself from that and realize like, that's how my brain is designed. Like, our, that's amazing, right? Because it's designed to keep us safe from like if a saber toothed tiger was chasing you, like, you know what I mean? But that's not where we live now. So the things that your, your brain doesn't differentiate what pain is or discomfort is like, it just right. senses, Oh, danger, danger. It's going to make you uncomfortable. And then goes to work to try to shut it down. And so you have to just be, you have to like outsmart your own brain and realize like you have to actually take the action to quiet that voice and to get to where you want to go. Right. It's our subconscious, you guys. It's basically like if you had this horrible relationship back in the day, back in high school, right? And it just like was awful, fell apart. Well, guess what? Subconsciously, you're going to destroy every relationship after that because you're going to keep resorting back. You're going to keep thinking it's going to fail. You're going to keep thinking it's going to be the same, right? So I've done so much work about around this. And Allison, I know you have too. And I just think it's really important to bring to light and to bring to surface because there's so many people in this industry or this profession that they want to know all the freaking how to's. They want to know how to prospect, how to, how to recruit, give me the script. Like, um, and for you and I also, how do you create the funnel? How do you run traffic? Because you guys, we do online marketing as well. Um, how do you create a blog? You know, and it's like, we could teach all the how to's, but it doesn't, it, that doesn't really matter. It goes back. It goes back to, you know what? 
you're going to hit the wall. And what are you going to do when you hit the wall? Are you going to fight or flight? Or are you just going to like, you know, curl up in a ball and cry? <laughs> so, cause I know fear was a big thing for me putting myself out there when I got started with doing the Facebook lives. And so how did you feel when you started doing your Facebook lives? Were you like, oh my God, you know, like, look at the way I look. I'm not, you know, I know for me, it was like the way I look, I do yoga. I'm sweating like half the time from the gym. I'm not in makeup. I'm a mom. I don't dress like this every day, like to the nines, like <laughs> who the hell is going to want to listen to me, yeah. you know? Well, right. Those are all the things that I said to you and yeah. you're like, you got to just do it. And I'm like, you're right. Like you just have I slapped you in this back in the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Like, it, I mean, you can go on my fan page and look back at the lives that I did a year ago. I mean, yeah. they, they were awful and I'm going to leave them there and I'm going to look back at them and I'm going to look back at the lives that I did last week and I'm going to just constantly be getting better, but you yeah. don't get better by sitting back and waiting for like this, this magical moment to get started. Right. It's just not going to ever happen. And you're, I mean, like I look at, I, I think I said this on one of my lives. Cause it was when my son, my son's 13 months old, he's walking now, but like, he still falls down. But I mean, like I, this is so silly. It's probably going to like, <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> so like, you know, he's a little baby. He's sitting there. He's watching his big brothers walk and run. He's watching his mom and dad walk and run. You think he's just sitting there like, Oh man, I wish I could walk. Like, look at how good they're walking. No, he just gets up and does it. And he falls down and he trips and he bumps his head and he gets better. And it's the same thing with doing this. Like people, I remember comparing myself to, to you and like John and Nadia Melton, like seeing like just the content and all of that. And I just thought like, I can't, if I'm going to sit here and compare myself to them, I'm never going to turn into the best me I can be. And, right. and attract the right people to me. Right. Right. Long in my business are, are unique to me. Right. And I have to put my true self out there in order to attract those people. Right. And, and I think another thing that people get hung up on, cause we talk, you know, about, I'm sure we're gonna talk a little bit more about this, about branding and, and putting content out there is like, you feel like you don't know what your brand is or who you are, but it, it, you have to start somewhere and it will evolve. Like I remember when I first, you know, the company that, that we're with now, that's the way we build is doing Facebook lives, providing value and content and, and being of service to people. And I remember because my background is in Pilates, I thought, Oh, this is great. I'm going to do like live Pilates classes. And I had in my, uh, this whole plan, I'm going to do fitness Friday and all this stuff. And I did it a couple of times and I'm like, man, this is not what I want to be doing. Like, I didn't know that I wanted to come on and talk about network marketing. I didn't, but I had to, to go through that to see like where my true passion was. It didn't just magically like all come together and I didn't have good lighting and I didn't have, you know, my teeth were all messed up. I got my teeth. Like, it's like <laughs> nothing was perfect in the beginning. You know what I mean? But it evolves and you evolve. So I yeah. Think I want to no, no. And I love that. And that's what I'm talking about all the time, because that is the whole thing where I'll talk about it at the end, but the unleash your, your brand boot camp that I'm going to be doing the four weeks. Right. And that is really it. It's for, like throwing people into action and implement, implementation. You guys taking imperfect action is what I want to see you guys do like, honestly. And so, um, and it's just strength as you and I know, strengths come in numbers, right guys. And so, um, but I'm going to talk about that in a minute. I want to keep going with this real quick, but I think a brand, that's the thing we, we, we put so much emphasis on, like I say it all the time, like, do I need a website, the colors, the logo and all this. And that's not for, for me and Allison, you could say for you, but for me, that's not really truly what a brand is. And I came up with this as I started going along and I started thinking about it about it as more people kept asking me about branding. And I'm like, you guys, it's like an emotion. It's like understanding who you are deep within as a person, you guys, which is a scary question when you start to go inward. And so I had some pivotal moments where I was like, Oh God, you know, how do I want to show up truly and showing up in an authentic way where I'm not behind the camera or behind the phone and else and knows who I am. Like I'm not a different person. How I show up is how I show up, but meaning, do I want to be the naysayer? Do I want to be the excuse maker? Do I want to play the victim role? No, 
right? Like we've all been there, but I'm just saying showing up as the person that wants to inspire, right? That wants to make an impact. And so it's more of an emotion that is created, I feel, between parties. Like, and that's where the connection comes in and it's getting vulnerable. Here's the thing though. Most people hold themselves back because you do have to share a story. You do have to get vulnerable and people get nervous about that. I'm sorry. My mom is bringing in Starbucks for me right now as we are in this interview. Where's my mom? Where's my Allison mom? wants to know where her Starbucks is. Are you, She's waving her hand. I'm sorry, Hi. Allison. Thanks, mom. <laughs> what? You guys, seriously, our mom's like the best. <laughs> um, but <laughs> anyway, so yeah. So what does a brand mean to you? I mean, are we in alignment there, right? Is it more of the personal connection? And your audience develops it as you go, which is the cool thing. It, it does. And I remember the first time I ever heard in, in our last company um, that we were in, they did at least encourage curiosity marketing, right? So I mm -hmm. was, from the very beginning when I got started, I always focused on putting myself out there in the hopes to inspire somebody else. So whether, exactly. that, whether that be sharing my why or sharing my story or sharing my before and after pictures or whatever, it was always... No, but I remember here, <laughs> your brand, you are your brand. And I'm like, what does that mean? Like, that is like the, that's so weird. That doesn't even make sense to me. Like, that's what I felt like at first. Like, I don't get that. You're, you are your brand. It's like, so you got it. So it forces you to get to know yourself better. And you want to like, what do I want to be known for? Right? Like who, how, like you said, how do I want to show up? What do I want people to think of when they, think of me. Right. And so, yeah, you could go into like colors and logos and all that stuff. I mean, you might evolve into that, but at the core of your brand is, is you and who you are right? and, and, and what you, what you choose to put out in the world. And so, um, you know, before I started my, when I talked to you and started my fan page, I had been really building my brand right on my personal page for a couple of years at that point, like mm -hmm. focusing on, how can I show up and inspire somebody and always coming from the mindset of like, I don't care if I have 50 people that make fun of me, as long as one person is inspired, then it's worth it to me. Right. Yeah, absolutely. It yeah. doesn't matter. And we have that ego that wants to like hold us back from like truly putting ourselves out there. Right. It's there to protect us, but you're right. Even if it's just because someone could compare and say, well, she's got like, 30,000 followers or whatever, or they have, you know, um, they've been doing this so long. Look at all these people that are on their page and there's no one on my page. Like it doesn't matter. Everyone starts somewhere. Everyone has to start from the beginning. And we have, we play that comparison game and comparison is the quickest way to destroy your business. I will tell you that. And I know that you agree with this. And so, um, I think just really what, I wanted Allison here today to do is to like, just have two fierce women entrepreneurs come together and talk to you guys, because we do, we see this very often and, um, and, and we're busy too, right? Like you guys, we are moms. Yes, we have successful businesses, but we still have all the same stuff going on. We still have all the same mindset blocks at times, but you know what? We just get over them faster because we know how to take action and implement and we don't let it stop us. Like Allison said last week, she had a little hiccup, right? But look at what she did. She knew how to overcome that. And so I, I, I just, I love it. I love that. Um, real quick, cause I know we're coming up to the 30 minutes. Um, and I, I, I swear I could hang with you all day, girl. I so Allison lives in Florida. I'm in Chicago and we are talking about all the time, girl, just, let's get a place next door to each other. And then we're like, we would get nothing done. We would literally just drink wine all day. The boys would run around screaming. Cause I have two boys. She has the three, I mean, five boys screaming and her and I would just be like laughing and drinking wine all day. <laughs> so we, but you know what the cool thing is we build our business from our phone. So we could do this, right? We could do this. Um, but real quick, before I wrap this up, I want to talk to you. Um, give me your perspective what it's like to build your business as a mom. Like maybe you could share with our audience here, a time management tip of yours. <laughs> if, you, if you have any, like, I know you do. Like, I know there's some days we're just like running around like with our heads cut off, but is there something that 
is it is there like a plan you have set in place is there a certain day you make a plan you know to, to a plan of attack do you do a non-negotiable reach out today yes yeah, so i have i have written down i don't have it right here but i have written down my daily method of operation so it's the things mm -hmm. that i my dmo the things that are going to get done every day regardless so um where is that so like for example, like, and there's different days have different things, right? Depending on what's going on. Um, right. And I work in um, blocks. Okay. So like now I'm going to be totally honest. So I have a, I have a nanny that comes over. She comes over three days a week for a few hours. She's here right now uh, to help me out with the baby so that I can have my dedicated blocks of time so that I, now part of the reason why I hired her is because he would not nap for me. And I'm like, I need help. He needs to be on a schedule and I need to, and we need to have everything structured so I can get some work done. And then when I'm with my kids, I'm with my kids. Right. Cause there's nothing right. worse than, you know, <laughs> then like, I remember my last company, like having to like leave the bedroom early, like putting the boys down and be like, sorry guys, good night. I got to go do a phone call. Like, I don't have to do that anymore, which is really oh, good. awful. Um, I know my husband's like, am I ever going to see you again? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, so, but I think like now I didn't, but I, did I always have a nanny? No, I've only had her for a couple of months, you guys. So I, you figure it out, but you've got to look at your day and say, where do I have 15 minutes here? Do I have 30 minutes here? 20 minutes here, whatever you have, where you can fit things in. Now, if you can build online, it makes it a lot easier because you can squeeze it in when you can squeeze it in rather than having to go do an event or a, a phone call or something like that. Um, right. But I think having dedicated blocks of time so that when you, you don't go down that road of mom guilt, right. Where you're feeling guilty when you're with your kids that you're not working on your business. And then when you're working on your business, feeling guilty that you're not with your kids. And mm -hmm. so I don't allow it. I did in the past. I allowed my business to run my life, but now I run my life. Or I run my my business fits into my life. Oh my gosh. I think I need a glass of wine. She needs a glass of wine, everybody. We need to feed her. She, <laughs> we need like that, um, the drip of just like, we can. I would get it in my Facebook messenger chat. <laughs> oh my God. I feel of wine. Um, I can't wait to see you in May. I know, we're going to have so much fun. But okay, do you know what I'm saying? So it's like now I fit my, my life is my life and my business fits into my life instead of my life revolving around my business. But I think having dedicated blocks of time and having daily non-negotiable and being very realistic about what you can and cannot accomplish in a day. So like Monday, Wednesday, Friday are my, are my days, right? Tuesday and Thursday, I just... It's not that I don't plug into my business because I'm plugged in every day, but they're not my heavy I income producing activity days, right? That's more just like connecting, following up, and mm -hmm. just not as um, structured, right? It's right. Just like fit it in. Right. So you have to figure out, like, you have to really look at your schedule and what your week looks like and figure out where you can fit in those blocks of time so that you're not like, you know, your kids aren't like mad at you because you're always looking at your phone. Exactly. Yeah. That's huge. And I live that. I live that. Yeah, you know, and I still follow my, I still can find myself like, you know, looking at messages with the kids around and then Austin being like, mom, no phones. And I'm like, oh my gosh, my seven year old telling me no phone. Right. And I'm like, oh God. Right. We're only human. Else <laughs> we try and do what we could do, but it is, it is really important to set up your, set up your week. Right. Set up your business. Right. Time blocking is huge you guys time blocking is huge because i will tell you if you go hard and you run hard for hours straight you will burn out i've done it i've done it i've sat in my office for 10 hours straight burnout so awesome tips lady i love it um well thank you so much for being here you guys i'm going to link in Alison's fan page uh to the top of this interview mm -hmm. And then real quick before we hop off, you guys, really exciting announcement. Um, so I just announced yesterday, I think I just launched my Unleash Your Brand live boot camp. You guys, it's the first time I'm ever doing a four-week live boot camp. And the reason I'm doing it again is to have my, my feedback, my accountability with other women entrepreneurs as well inside this community, inside our tribe. This is for only women, you guys. Are, sorry, men. Only women, 
only women allowed in this boot camp. But I feel that building a brand and understanding a brand, helping you overcome the fears of doing the Facebook Live, um, basically everything else that I talked about. That's what we're going to be covering content. This is another thing, Julie, what do I talk about in my niche? What, what is, where do I come up with my content ideas? So listen, it's, it's one and done. It's 30 days. We are going at this hard. It's going to help you break out of your shell. Um, I will have some hot seats, meaning I will be able to watch uh, your Facebook live and, and give you constructive feedback. I uh, will have a private Facebook page. And so, um, and I have a special bonus module all around um, unleashing the power within. So uh, talking more about the limiting beliefs and mindset. So anyways, if you want the link to that, or do you want to check it out because the doors are closing soon um, and I will not be reopening it, just put ready in the comment section, you guys just, just type in ready and you'll get the information into your um, Facebook messenger, which is super cool, right? I love bots. Oh. <laughs> we love the bots. Um, but you'll get the link and you can check it out. Um, but again, it is, it is uh, not open ended. The doors will be closing and we're starting the first week of March. Bam. Allison, you are amazing. I absolutely love and adore you. I'm honored to be partnered with you um, with the caliber of the person that you are, a mompreneur, a fellow mompreneur. So thank you for being here and thank you for adding so much value to our community. And I just love you. I love you and thank honestly, and I have to say this, I mean, if you hadn't started doing what you're doing, I wouldn't be where I am. And so thank you oh, thank for going you. first, right? Leaders go first. But I have to say about you, Julie, is like you are the real, like you are the real deal. Like what you <laughs> see is what you get. And I think your audience loves that. I think everybody loves that about you. I know I love you for oh, that. So thank, thank you. For Thank you for pushing me to be better just by being who you are, not by yelling at me or anything. <laughs> <laughs> How many people have you talked to today? Well, maybe not, maybe not yet. No, I'm just joking. I would never yell at you, Zal. I know, I know. Ever. I love being surrounded by people like you and John and Nadia and Tanya and Marina Simone that like you're, we're just surrounded by people who make us better just by because you're so amazing. It's like, wow. uh, I think it's just showing up, like just showing up in life in general. Like there's been many times you guys just going back to the, like, live, like, oh, I'm like, Oh, I don't want to do a Facebook live today. Like you just don't feel like it. And sometimes if I was really, really having an off day, I'd walk away from it. Right. Like it's okay. But if I was feeling it, I'm like, but I could do it. And I just power through it. That's it. I would just power and I power through things more than I just say, Forget it. I will tell you that right now. I have trained myself to do that. Allison is training herself to do that, right? And so um, I appreciate you saying that because again, we're only human. And so thank you again for being here. Um, I love you. I'll be talking to you real soon. And this was fun. We have to do it again. Yes, with wine. <laughs> okay, yeah. Next time, everyone, everyone is showing up with wine, champagne, or a jalapeno margarita. Those are my three favorites. <laughs> those are the only things allowed just like women are only allowed in the the branding boot camp that's the only alcoholic beverages nope sorry no beer <laughs> no beer all right honey i love you i'll talk I to you soon you. okay bye bye and bye to everyone out there thank you we're gonna go through the comments later we get a lot of love you bolts i'm sorry i just looked over and i'm like my screen is flying with a ton of hearts um Allison and I will both go through comments later. So feel free to go through and, and answer any of them, Allison as well. Okay. Everyone be blessed. Thank you. Bye everybody.